Today's color is white. I'm wearing my Goodwill shirt. I like hosed it down with Lysol and just let it sit because I didn't have time to wash it. And I didn't really have anything else white to wear. So it is what it is. It fits nice considering I didn't know what size it was. So here's my makeup look. Wifey's well, down. We actually have to leave in like 15 minutes. So I have to legit speed run this. I don't even have my hair brushed yet. Um, and I blew my nose and now my makeup is fucking up because my eyes like to water. Okay, let me close this window a little. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm like frazzled. I cannot brush because I get so, I forget everything. Okay, so I'm not really doing this in the order because um, it is what it is. I used the ranch. Oh, I used the ranch in the conspiracy palettes. used that and then I used the color Yak Farm in Wyoming in this palette and I used that like up here and in the crease but that is like after I fucked up because I used the Scorpio palette and I first went in with this color and I thought my whole makeup look was fucked, but it wasn't. And then I went in with um, this color, uh, Secretive. I did harsh. Trust me, the color was harsh. And I was like, yeah, that's, um, that's awful. But I was able to fix it with the Yak Ranch palette. And then of course I used the white and the black in this palette. So there's that. And then sarcophagus I used I did it sarcophagus I used that color hopefully I said it right um but yeah and then I also used the this um then I used this color on top of the white to give it some bling bling and then for mascara I decided to use the carbon black today and then I did use the brown and the black with my face paint things and they looked actually pretty good but the brown is actually pretty light so I went in with my eyeliner markers and like I said I blew my nose and now my eyes are watering of course so there's that so I'm trying to brush but I need to brush my hair I have not brushed my hair yet I have to get my earrings on ow Yes, I aggressively brush my hair. It drives people crazy. So. And. Today's Wednesday. I usually don't put my hair in a pony. Because then you get like those lines in your hair. But. I'm just going to do it. Because. I put my hair in a pony. And then put it up. And then I'm going to use these. And then my hair, like, usually does a thing. So that's what we're working with. So I will see you guys when I get home. I love you guys, and I'll see you at the coffee pot. Why did you miss Mommy? Did you miss me? You did? Oh my goodness! Did you miss the mommies? What? Loki! What? What? You're talking to me a lot! What? <laughs> Hi, Nixie! Hi. What? Hi! She's a giveaway! I want mommy! Hi, Loki! What? Oh, you're knocking the phone down. Hi. Hi. Hi, Nixie. Oh, my goodness. The big girl. Loki, what's the matter? What's the matter? You want to make some coffee with me? Let's push this back. Brayden's always got the soda stream out. You want to make some coffee, Bee? Is that what you want?
make some coffee tea? Huh? What are you doing? What? He is just... What? What are you doing? Okay. What's the matter? He's like weirded out. What's the matter? Do you want some treats? Is that what you want? You really want some treats? That bad? Okay. All right. Let's give Callie, because Callie's right here. You want some treats? I don't know why they think they get treats when I get home. Come on, Nancy. Come on. Here you go. Here. Where's Thor? Where's Thor? I don't know where Thor is. I don't know where the door is. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Oh my gosh. So my little friends at school all love my eyeshadow look, my eye makeup look today. I forgot the other day I mentioned that girl on Instagram that I've been following with the crazy earrings and she matches the earrings to her makeup looks. I forgot to link her. So mental note, Ray, link it. When I'm in edit, when I'm in edit editing, I need to link it. So that way I remember. Cause she's so, she's like, I love her to death. Like she's just so cool. I love her little earring collection. It's funny because like the earrings, the little novelty earrings that she gets, I've seen them at a, ooh. I've seen them like at uh, Ocean City and stuff, but a lot of them are on Timu. Speaking of which, I should have, I should have some packages. Brayden, where's my packages? Are they in the living room? All right, they're at the door. All right, let me check the mail. Nothing good. I just got a, I got a, a, a thing from the vehicle notification department. I crack up every time I get stuff like this because I'm like, I don't drive. First National Bank, open a checking account. No, thank you. Mm -mm. All right. Let me go check for my packages. I'll be right back. All right. I got... I got the goods. This is my Tamu. Isn't that how they say that it's actually supposed to be said as Tamu? No, it will be Timu. I'm sorry. I like Timu. All right, what do I got in here? Oh, okay. So I, I ordered three of these so I would not run out of my coffee creamer. Because this shit sometimes is so hard to find. The sugar-free. Y'all know how I roll. And then I got my, I had to restock my D3. I take two of these every morning. And then I'm going to try these. The bariatric, the actual bariatric vitamins. So like the multivitamins. Because I take two horse size pills every morning freaking day for vitamins and I'm like that one's supposed to only be one and it's got like um one of my girlfriends was telling me or I was reading or I think it was in chat that they had like too much b12 or too much b something I think b12 like can poison you but I'm like honestly I could probably take the amounts that she was taking and I could probably be okay because 
already with the thyroid and the Hashimoto's, you don't absorb the vitamins like you should. And then top it off with gastric bypass. And I really don't absorb my vitamins like I should. So, okay. Let's get into my Tamu haul. Now I'm saying Tamu because I'm being silly. But I like Timu. Okay. All right, I'm gonna save these for last. Okay. So I got some random ass stuff. You guys know it wouldn't be me if I didn't get molds. Because I don't have a cake decorating problem. Okay, so the first one, this one's kind of silly and ridiculous. But I really wanted this for um, Thanksgiving. It's a little... I don't know how well you guys can see. It's a little turkey mold. Look at all the little turkeys. I thought this would be hilarious. I didn't realize it was this big. But I'm like, put like little chocolate turkeys on a cake. I thought that would be funny. So I did get that for things. Because sometimes you just got to get the shit when you can get it. You know? All right, what else do I have for molds? What is this? Oh, I did. I got the... I got the cards. I was gonna do that for like a Father's Day, like a poker night cake. I thought that would be really cute. I got hands. That is really big. That's not um, what I thought it was gonna be, but there's hands. So I got that for another reason, but. Oh, this one is, oh, okay. So this one is just like a little cereal tight mold because you know I I did two different variants of uh of my Lucky Charms cereal bowls I was like I want to use them but I think I want to do something different this year I might want to try to make a cake a Lucky Charms cake because I paid like $20 for that damn cereal mold I'm gonna fucking use it you know what I mean but it's like all the Lucky Charm cereal pieces. So if you go on my Raised Cakes page or Raised Bakes and you like look up the Lucky Charms or it's in, I think it's in the St. Patrick's Day. I did these big oatmeal cookies and I made them into actual cereal bowls and I have like all the cookie cutters and stuff. And then last year I made smaller versions to put on top of cupcakes for work. So I did do that. Um... So this one, I know it's supposed to be like for resin, but it, it's fine. This is um, a Disney like little headband. So I want, I got that. Um, what is this? Oh, this was so, I don't, um, I don't know how you guys could see this. So it's a rose, but there's like a little fairy or um, there's a little fairy next to it. Um, oh, I've been wanting these. There's this, um, cake. So there's this, um, it's called the littlest something cake shop or something. I don't know what it is, but, or sweet is it sweet or I don't know. Again, if I remember, I'll post a picture cause they always have stuff, but they use these like ball. They use these debossers. And so you put this on and then like you pull it off or whatever, but they use these. And I really like the little pattern and I thought that would be super cute for Easter, like a cute little Easter pattern with like a bunny in the middle or something. I thought it was cute. All right, let's see what else I got in here. This is, what is this? Oh, these are, oh, it's a little letter set. You can't really see it, but it's like a, another little... I like different styles of fonts. What is this one? Oh, it's another flower. I got the whole set of these little molds. Oh, gosh. I'm losing everything. Okay, what else do we have? All right, I think that's it for mold. Oh, no, there's one more. Why did... Is, oh, it was a two-piece. I got two of these. Maybe I'll take one to work. 
and like let the kids use them. Okay. The other thing I got was, did any of these fall out? Oh no, here, this is, um, sorry, I feel like I'm very over the place. This is another um, stamp and it says happy birthday on it. For, it's a fondant stamp. Okay, and then this I got for St. Patty's Day because I always try to do new stuff. Like, I can make stuff, but I like to do other things as well. So, I did get those. All right, now moving on to... Why did I get two of these? That's okay. You know what? I'm going to give one to my girlfriend's daughter. Sometimes Timu does that shit. You have to check your cart, and sometimes they'll put two. Like there will be two things and you don't need two things. Like I hope that didn't happen. Okay, no, I don't think it happened here. Okay. But yeah, they'll do that. Like I noticed that the last time I was like on there, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I'm not adding, like why do I need two of these? I don't need two of these. I think that's what they did with this. But that's okay. Cause I'll give one to my girlfriend's daughter. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what, th what this is. So if you guys remember at Christmas, I had the reindeer one. And so basically what you do with these, these are so cute. Sorry if I'm like frazzled, but story of my life. Okay. So it's got the two little things. So this opens up, right? And what you do let me take this out for a second. So you take your hair. So I'm just gonna make like a really quick bun real quick. Here, I'll turn around. I'm gonna make a quick little bun. Okay. And then you take this. So I got like the little rhinestone blinged out cat. And then you take this. Uh-oh. I'm gonna do it this way. And then it snaps like that. So it like holds the bun. Can you guys see? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. But then you got like these little cute little pearls dangling down. And then you have a cute little you have a cute little cat. Hopefully you guys can see. But you have a cute little cat in your hair, like that holds your bun. So, I don't know, I thought I thought they were super cute. I have a reindeer one, if you guys remember, I wore it at Christmas all the time. So, I thought these were really cute. So, somehow I ended up with two of them. So I'll give one to my girlfriend's daughter. So I'll save that for her. And then I have another hair clip. I thought this was like really super cute. And it's kind of like the same thing. So see, it's like a really cute hair clip. It's like, ooh, glitter, glittery and sparkly, but it's the same thing. It's for a bun. And then you just clip it. You clip it like that. Or you can do it like this. And then you have the, or you could probably do it on a ponytail too. But you can see like the sides, like, I don't know how well you guys can see it. But I thought, what are you doing? Okay, I have just a few more things. Uh, Callie, come on. All right, so. I didn't expect those to be so big. All right, so the next things I got, I more earrings. Like, I need earrings, like a hole in the head. I wanted these because, so these are like little flame gold earrings. Because I got these for our Hot Wheels meets. Cause I didn't know if hubby was going to start going back to him again because I'm just annoyed with that whole situation. 
the guys pissed him off and now he doesn't want to go. But just in case we go, I have treasure hunt earrings. And then these are just cute little hoops with like a little heart on them. They're like a buck, if even that. I think they're like 89 cents. And then because I am Irish, I got the Clotta in, I'm probably saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, earrings. I know, Ray, they should be in gold. I wear more silver than I do gold, so. And then I got these super cute, fun earrings. You guys ever seen that meme? They made the meme into earrings. So it's a chocolate rabbit. And this one says, my butt hurts. And it's got a bite out of its butt. And it says, my butt hurts. And this one says, what? And its ears are gone. I thought it was super cute for Easter. I thought they were super adorable. So yeah, that's my Timu haul. And, oh no, I didn't finish. Excuse me, Callie, thank you. So I ordered a pair of um, jeans from them. We'll see how these fit. Cause the last pair of pants I ordered were like extremely enormous. But I saw these and they were only like 13 bucks. So I'm like, I shouldn't be too mad. Look at these jeans. Look. They're actually real jean material, which is actually surprising. But yeah, they have like the rainbow. They got the rainbow in them. I thought they were super cute. Nice little ripped, ripped jeans. Should I try them on? What size did I get? I got, oh, that's right. I ordered a 4X. I don't know if that's gonna be, because I never know. Like Shein, like I know Shein, I could do a 2X curve in a lot of their pants, but like in some of them I can't. You know what, I'm gonna try them on because I want to. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty big. I still got like, there's like so much, there's a lot of room, but I can hike these up and I can wear my compression tank and stuff. That's fine. But they are baggy at the top, but look at my legs. So they fit. Like this leg, it's a little baggy, but this is my lymphedema leg. And they actually fit my legs nicely. So, oh, let me put these back on and cover my feetsies. But yeah, they're cute though, right? They'll probably, maybe they'll shrink. I don't know. But, I don't know. I think they're cute. What do you guys think? I like them. A nice cute little pair of like fried pants or something. Because I support legit, legit a bit of qua. Legit a bit of qua. Alright. So yeah, I like them. They're comfy. I like them a lot. They also have them with um, cheetah print. <laughs> Go figure. But yeah, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put this stuff up, clean up, get all my stuff over my cake corner. And then I'll sit down and I'll probably just sit down and relax for a little bit. I'll probably do some TikToks because my makeup look is popping. Do you guys remember that one that one comment I just recently got? You just do your makeup for the TikToks. Uh, no, I work a full-time job. I do my makeup like this every day. Every day. Shithead. Don't tell me. All right. So, yeah. All right, let me go. I will see you guys after that. What is up, beautiful people? So it is seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top. It's like, anyway, I'm uh, fixing to make dinner. I am making these chicken tenders. They're chicken tenders, California garlic pepper seasoning. So they're already seasoned. I just put them in the frying pan. 
I'm gonna do these with some fries and call it a day. But I'm getting ready to finally make my banana bread that I've been talking about for like four days now. It's called half and half banana bread. I'm using half almond flour and half regular flour. So, because I do like almond flour, but certain things, like I don't really like a, I don't know, it's weird. Cause if, you, if you've done a lot of keto, you know how almond flour can be like, I'm used to it, but sometimes you just wanna try something different. And I was like, well, can I mix at least a little bit of flour? Cause like, I don't want all the carbs, but I don't want the almond flour. So I'm gonna do half and half. So let me start getting all my shit together here. All right, so I have four really ripe bananas that we are going to use. So we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna smoosh them. Smoosh them up. All right. Oh, I guess I should probably have the oven preheating too. So that's what we're gonna do. Oops. All right. All right, so I got my nanners. I'm gonna start preheating the oven. All right, now that we got everything all mashed up, I'm gonna take the stick of butter and I'm gonna melt it. And then, goodness gracious, come on, come on. Okay, all right, I'm gonna melt this. I'm gonna pour in a quarter cup of milk, but this is half and half, so this is just what I'm working with. Quarter cup. All right, side note, I just flipped my chicken over. I thought they were chicken tenders, but they're not. It's like a couple just like small little chicken breasts. All right, here goes my melted butter. And then I'm going to add three eggs. Get that protein in there. One. And I got a shell too. Give me that shell. Give me the shell. Ugh. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Got it. Just pick the whole damn thing up. <laughs> Two eggs. Now look, the shell's still stuck on my damn finger. Get off. Now I can't get the other egg and three eggs. All right, let me wash my hands because this is gross. All right, I'm gonna add my vanilla and then I'm gonna add my eggs. I meant to mix them, but I'm like, you know what? I don't really care right now. <laughs> I'm not performing for anybody. This is just what I'm doing. The yolks will break up. And then we're going to mix all this. It will be fine. All right, I need to flip my chicken. All right. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm also gonna add the rest of my stevia brown sugar. Oh my aching ass. I am so sick of the people in my house, I swear to God. All right, I'm gonna add some uh, swerve 
This is Swerve Granulated Sugar. And I'm gonna add some of this in here too, since I don't have like all um, brown sugar. Just to cut, last time I made banana bread, it wasn't that sweet. I swear to God, I'm getting right, like when wifey gets home, I just wanna fucking punch her. She's texting me about a stupid fucking soda for hubby. And she's like, well, if it's not in there, I just saw it, I just saw it. It was on the bottom shelf of the refrigerator and all the way pushed in the back on top of a block and she, oh, I'm adding baking soda. Baking soda. It was like on the top, it was like literally in the back of the fucking refrigerator on top of the block of cheese. When I've, um, I've been in and out of the refrigerator getting shit to make the banana bread and I'm like, there's no fucking soda in here. And I'm like, she's like, well, Brayden must have drank it then. And I know goddamn well I put, and I'm just like, well, first of all, I loved how you were quick to automatically blame Brayden. And I was just like, I really don't think Brayden would drink his father's soda. Cause he's been drinking the soda stream stuff. So I loved how you just automatically fucking blame my kid for that shit. You know, that's kind of annoying. Oh. Well, he's just gonna have to wait. And then she's like, well, I think he wants it. So can you take it upstairs? Um, he's just gonna have to wait a few because I have food cooking on the stove. I swear, I, if somebody wants something, can you run it up to him? Why don't he come walk downstairs and come get his own damn soda? Jesus Christ. Like, I'm sorry I don't heed to people's every fucking beck and call. You know what I mean? Like, I got other fucking shit to do. Alright. I don't know which one's older, and I'm so afraid. I think you need a cup of flour and a cup of almond flour. Are there bugs in here? I hope to God there are not. Okay. I probably should do this. If you were here for the weevil conversation, okay, I don't see anything. Then you'll know why I'm being like a little reluctant. <laughs> I was so scared because my mom used to always tell me about weevils and shit. And so I put everything, like flowers and stuff, in bags. So. All right, so I got some flour. And now I'm gonna add my almond flour. All right. Oh, my aching ass, shut the fuck up. It's just wifey just steady texting me. Like, I just fucking told you I'm cooking. Shut up. My gosh. I think this is a little bit more than a cup. I might pour some of this in here. Okay. Yes, I am. I'm getting aggravated. Where's the phone? Huh? Where's the phone? The phone? Oh, it's right here. Hold on. Okay. They sent Brayden down for a soda. All right. Last ingredient is, of course, cinnamon. Because I love cinnamon. I should add some cloves to it, but this made a lot. <laughs> So it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so this is, I've never made half and half banana bread. I've always either made it all almond flour, all regular flour, and then that's it. I have not even been recording this whole time. And I'm very sad about that. I got, 
my mixture in my loaf pan. I have the oven preheated to 350. I was just sitting here steady talking to you guys. I do that shit all the time. And then Callie was meowing and it was like so super cute and you guys missed it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go and put this in the oven. It's probably going to take at least an hour to bake. Um, cause it's like, it's a, it's a hefty one. So yeah, I'm going to go put this in the oven and when it's done, I will see you. Um, but the chicken and everything's done. The fries are done. So really not a meal to write home about. So I just had to vent for a second because I'm cleaning out hubby's lunchbox okay and i hope this is clean because if it's okay he cleaned it i'm still gonna run it through the dishwasher though um remember we went to costco and we got uh that big thing of chili hold on i'm trying to get this shit on the dishwasher so I can run it. Remember when we got that huge thing of chili? You see this? Two days. I've sent it to work with hubby. He did not eat it. It's been sitting out for two days. Well, to this one was today's. And one was, I don't know which ones was which. Fucking wasteful. And let me tell you, every single night I have cleaned out hubby's lunchbox. And I have sent the brisket. It's came home and it's gone right in the fucking trash. And then, but yet yeah, he is the main one yelling and hollering about fucking food and being wasteful. But yet yeah, I'm throwing, so I already cleaned out. So I cleaned out his lunchbox. He had a container of cottage cheese with um, jam in it. That went right in the trash. Now two things of chili are getting ready to go in the trash. And like I said, all week has been the brisket. He told me, he tells me to put it in there. I put it in there and he doesn't eat it. And it's going in the fucking trash. Does that not infuriate you? Like, especially when they're, like, the main one hollering about food prices and how much shit costs and how they can never find anything that they want. And then when they find it and then you give it to them, they waste it. Let me just carry on with my nightly duties. All right, it is 914 and I just took... Ow! Stupid, you touch the fucking hot pan. Oh my God, I just took the banana bread out. I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. And then um, I'm in the middle of packing lunches and stuff. So then I'll come back and see you guys. So I'm packing hubby's lunch and I wanted to try the everything bagel dip and spread. I'm putting it in his lunch with some crackers. I wanted to try it. So good. This has been sitting for a few minutes. Well, let's cut this. It's actually been sitting longer than a few minutes. Let's give it a nice cut. Oh, look at that. Can you tell how moist that is? That is really moist. Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's take a bite. It's good. That's real good. Put some butter on that. Or I could take a little bit of cream cheese. 
mix it with some powdered sugar, a little bit of butter. You can tell that the almond flour is in there, but it's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's so moist. It's really good. Wifey's gonna like this. What is up, beautiful people? It's uh, 10 o'clock. I still have my makeup on. You ever like have a makeup look that you really, really like and you just can't bring yourself to take it off yet? That's kind of where I'm at today with my look. Like, I did a couple TikToks. I might do a few more before bed before I completely take it off. But it's holding up pretty good, too. Why is my coffee pot making that little noise? But yeah, I'm having a very hard time coming to take this off. I thought I looked I thought I looked cute today, okay? Right, Callie? What do you want? Oh my god, you know I got you. I got you baby. I was trying to hold her. Usually she lets me hold her like a baby and rock her. She's being extra. Oh, you want all the love, and then when I give you the love, you don't want the love. She's like, bitch. Usually she nudges me. Don't you? You usually nudge me. <laughs> I, I saw this um, commercial for like this catnip box. It's like a, you know how like dogs have the bark box? They have a, what? It's not you, it's, it's your fur. So I guess technically it's you. What Callie? Oh my goodness, yes, hi. Can I make my coffee, please? No? I need to brush you guys. What? They're my treats. They're my treats. Do you want to treat? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You want to treat? You want to treat? No, Kitty, you want to treat? You know today was National Oreo Day? Oh my god, I didn't do the song. What was today's song? Hold okay, on. so today's song is Name a Song. Oh my god. I didn't do Way in Wednesday. I didn't do You know why? Because wifey had to be at work super early this morning and I was rushing. Oh, why did I do this one? Oh, well. We'll see how this tastes in the morning. Okay, song that makes you move. Or song that makes you want to dance. There's a lot of songs that make me want to dance. I can't legitimately think of anything. Like, right, believe it or not, for like the last year, I've listened to 
a fuck ton of corpse husband like his songs make me want to dance i listen to a lot of dj and club music and even yesterday's song timmy trumpet i can i just all of a sudden bust out into a dance with timmy trumpet club music anything like that but there's like that is um that's just what that's just what i would say so timmy trumpet still corpse husband anything club music baltimore club music is always a fun thing fun way to go but yeah so <sighs> on that note my friends I'm gonna go record some TikToks, finally take my makeup off, and uh, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. So please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all so, 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 so very much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.